Hello and welcome back to the complete day trading course by Wealthy Education. In this video, we'll take a look at how to trade broadening tops and bottoms in the first video here of Module 3. A broadening top or bottom is simply the market broadening its range over time. And what I mean by that is that price, um, price will just simply get wilder and wilder and wilder using a couple of trend lines that are getting wi uh, wider and wider. And a broadening top, as you suspect, is at the top of a move higher. And this means typically bearish things. A broadening bottom, which is a little more rare, uh, is at the bottom and a breakout normally means positive things. Now, some of the patterns that you'll learn in this module have built-in measuring sticks of uh, where you're going to end up. These patterns don't necessarily, they just signal a potential trend change. So what we see in this type of pattern is there's a lot of certainty, like over here, there's a lot of certainty in the upside, and then things just get wilder and wilder, and as less certainty comes into the market, you know, people who are hanging on want to take their profits. And once we break through this trend line, then it shows that it's really getting ugly out there and we sell off. Now, some people will try to trade for the the length of the pattern. That, to me, um, historically is a bit difficult. Some people will try to trade for the, the middle part. Uh, as a general rule, the best way that I have found to trade these is to simply take the break look for the next support or, in this case, resistance level. So over here on Visa, you can see that we had been rallying for some time, and then the market really started to get volatile and choppy. And then once we broke through this downtrend, um, the supportive downtrending line, you can see that we really unwound. And in fact, we ended up taking out most of this move eventually. And I would also point out that this line extends out to be resistance later. Pretty uh, easy thing to grasp because the market had been reliable. And now all of a sudden it isn't. So at first glance, you may not see it in this, but Apple has one over here as well. It's a huge one. And you can see that we really started to widen out after dropping. And this shows that, you know, we try to rally and then there's even more confusion and then we break out. Now, this is one of those scenarios where you could have traded the uh, beginning of the cone, the megaphone, if you will. And sometimes you'll hear it be called a megaphone pattern. Same thing. Um, and that would have reaped benefits. This was such a huge level, though. This was literally like $18. So that's a massive target. You're never going to get that during a day trade anyways, or I, I should say you, you very rarely will get that type of move. But as you can see, clearly uh, we were selling off and people became less and less confident of that bearish position. And eventually we took off to the upside. 